you sure this is the place? Well, that's what the map says. Try the door. OK. Oh. Oh. Sounds familiar. Hello? Is there anybody here? They must be at lunch. Is that them? No, don't be daft. That's not them. Far too nautical. Are you sure? Yeah. Yours? Isn't that Parsley's song? I think you're right. Sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Let's check it out. Are you sure the music was coming from in here? I thought so. They've got to be in here somewhere. Look, here they are. Oh, yes. There's Lady Rosemary and Sir Basil. Oh, yeah, I can do him. I am Sir Basil, the King of the Hurt. Brilliant. Thank you. There's the chives. Look, but who's that? That, of course, is Aunt Mint. And there's Tarragon the Dragon. Oh, look, but there he is. There's the main man, Parsley the Lion. Yeah, your favourite. But don't forget, Dill the Dog. Let's have a closer look. <laughs> OK. Oh. They're a lot smaller than I thought. They're, they're so sweet, though. I guess if a little dusty now. How did that Dill the Dog song go? I was just trying to think of that. Something like, um... I'm Dill the dog, I'm a dog called Dill. I'm Dill, Dill the, the dog. dog, I'm a dog called... Yeah, but what's the rest? I'll just... Um... I'm Dill the dog, I'm a dog called Dill. I'm rather small and furry, and I'm often in the hurry. I'm Dill the dog, I'm a dog called Dill. Don't my tail I must to get, I've never caught it yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was it, yes, uh, yes. They were puppets. Hmm. Everybody says that. We sit in that cabinet all day long and people come and say, how do they move? Well, it's quite easy. Look. I'm a very friendly lion called Parsley with a tail for doing jobs of every kind. But I mustn't treat it roughly or too harshly. For it's such a useful thing to have behind. Would you like to meet the rest of the herbs? Uh, um, yes. Yes, please, Parsley. That would be very nice. Come and say hello to... to, uh... uh Simon. And Sybil. James, move along! I, I can't leave without my knitting. Remind me, Fort. Hello, my name's Sybil, and this is my friend Simon. How do you do? We've been looking forward to meeting you. I say, Basil, they're bigger than I thought. I wonder how they move. I used to watch you on television years ago when I was young. Isn't she pretty? I do think you're pretty. Thanks very much. You're very handsome too. Do you really think so? No, oh, no, young dragon. Just leave the young lady alone. Sorry. Yes, lots of people watched us on television. Would you like to see an episode now? Yes, that would be great. OK, Dill. a herb. A very useful kind of herb. I don't know what we'd do without parsley. Of course, it's like a lot of other things. It gets taken for granted. But I expect we should miss it soon enough if it wasn't there one day. There are quite a lot of other herbs we should miss too. Have you ever counted up how many there are on the other side of the wall? There's basil and rosemary, sage and bay leaf, dill and knapweed, pashana bedi, well, that's eight for a start. Then there's mint, good King Henry, tarragon, the onions, the chives, solidago, Miss Jessop. That's another seven. Nineteen if you count Mr. and Mrs. Onion and all the chives separately. 
It isn't often we have the chance to see all the herbs together, only on very special occasions, like today. Mind you, it's supposed to be a secret, so we'd better keep very still. Herbidacious. It's quiet at the moment, but I have a feeling there's something in the air. Here comes Parsley. I wonder if he's noticed anything strange about the garden. I'm a very friendly lion called Parsley. I am always very glad to see you, Abe. But please don't shout or speak to me too harshly Because I'm not particularly brave You do feel something different, Parsley. Heavens above, look at all those decorations. And what on earth was that? There it is again. It sounded as if it came from somewhere overhead. It's Sage. Well, I never thought I'd live to see the day. Sage, all dressed up to go to a party. I'm a rather fat feathery owl called Sage. I've been sitting here now for simply an age. I'm ready and waiting to go to the treat. And I'm hoping that there will be plenty to eat. Ah. It must be a special occasion. Do you remember Sage getting all dressed up like this before, Parsley? Neither do I. Oh, I think this needs looking into. Straight away. It's funny Parsley hasn't had an invitation. There's Bayleaf, putting up some decorations. I wonder if he knows what it's all about. Here, what you be doing, Parsley? You ain't supposed to be here. You're supposed to be fast asleep. Tain't no use looking at me like that. There's some things what is the business of lions, and there's some things what isn't. And this be one of them. Now off with thee. I'm Bailey, I'm the gardener, I worked so hard today To get these decorations up and make the place look gay Ah, there's Aunt Mint, perhaps she'll be able to help One plane, two pearl, one plane, two pearl Oh dear, I shall never get this finished in time I'm sorry, Parsley, I just haven't a minute to spare my name is Auntie Mint. I'm always very busy. I often have so much to knit, it makes me feel quite dizzy. We shan't find out anything there. She's much too busy. In fact, everybody seems busy this morning. Even Pashana Betty. I am Pashana Betty. Very good at cooking nicely. Food that has by me been cooked. Surely will be hot and spicy. Good morning, Mr. Parsley. <laughs> I shouldn't be sniffing that, Mr. Parsley. That is curry. Very hot, very sneezy. I am cooking it for a very special occasion. Very special indeed. And you must not be asking questions. It is very secret. Very Hush, hush. Hello, here comes Constable Knapweed. He looks more like a postman than a policeman today. Here, what's going on? Has this young lion been asking questions about certain matters, Mr. Betty? Oh, no, Constable Knapweed. And even if he has been, I am telling him that I cannot be answering them. Ah, that's just as well. Because if you had been, and if I hadn't got this sack of you-know-what on my back... I'd have to get my notebook out and write one or two things down. Like the name of a certain young lion. So you'd best be getting on your way and let's be having no more questions over matters that don't concern you. Today I'm postman left. Weed, I really must be going. This great big sack of you know what is nearly overflowing. No, no, Mr. Parsley, no more questions. You heard what Constable Napweed is saying. No more questions. No more questions, Mr. Parsley. If I hadn't got this sack of you-know-what on my back... A sack of you-know-what? I don't think Parsley knows what. There are some very strange things going on today. 
And there's another one. That's the school bell ringing in the middle of lessons. That's most unusual. It rings before lessons start, and it rings when they finish, but it never rings in the middle. Now, Jives, I expect you're all wondering why I have rung the school bell in the middle of lessons. I have rung the school bell in the middle of lessons because today is a special day. Today is a holiday. There is going to be a party. Now, Chives, you have all been invited to this party and you will behave yourselves at all times. A good time will be had by all. No stuffing yourselves with cakes iced, buns currant, or trifles cream. Otherwise, you will not be invited again. Is that clear? Right. Chives, attention, left, turn. Holidays by numbers begin. Because there are so many chives all looking like each other, it makes it even hard to tell a sister from a brother. Left, 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 right, left. Bring them up there. Oh, oh, there you are, Parsley. I hope you'll be very happy. I hope you'll be very, very happy. Oh dear, that's the trouble with Mrs. Onion. The happier she is, the more she cries. Here comes Dill. He's always cheerful. I'm Dill the dog. I'm a dog called Dill. Though my tail I'd love to get, I have never caught it yet. It must be very difficult singing a song through a parcel. Perhaps he knows what's going on. Do you know what's going on, Dill? Dill? Dill! Come back, Dill. Oh dear, here we go again. Perhaps if we follow Dill, we shall find out what it's all about. Signor Solidago's house. That's funny. And here comes Bashana Bedi, carrying his pot of curry. Good heavens, there's Sage, carrying a parcel. Now Sir Basil and Lady Rosemary. Everyone's carrying a parcel. This must be where the party is being held. Fancy having a party and not inviting parsley. Jives! Hop! Right! Turn! Jives! Dismiss! Hooray! Hooray! I hope they all get in. It must be quite crowded by now. Here comes Mrs. Onion with her cake. And Tarragon, the dragon. Hello, Tarragon. We haven't seen you for a long time. Mind what you're doing, young dragon. You might have caused a nasty accident there. You can give me a hand with these parcels, if you like. Parcels? So that's what Constable Napweed had in his bag. I really can't understand why you haven't been invited, Parsley. It's very strange. Good King Henry and Miss Jessop. Parsley, I think I should slip inside and mingle with the crowd. No one will notice. Oh dear, that's done it. Ladies, gentlemen, chives, do it, woo, owls, and others. Pray silence for our guest of honour, Parsley. Guest of honour? Did you hear that, Parsley? You're the guest of honour. Oh, I think we'd better go inside and see what it's all about. Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three. May you always be glad. May you never be sad. May you get all the nice things that you never had. May you always be gay. May good things come your way. May you have lots of nice things on your special day. Happy birthday, dear Parsley. Happy birthday to you. 
birthday party. Fancy it being your birthday, and you didn't even know. What a nice surprise. I think it's the nicest surprise a lion could possibly have. And how very kind of everyone to be here. Speech. 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 Oh, I don't think lions are very good at making speeches somehow. And there are so many things to say, like, thank you, and, um, um, oh, how about singing a song, Parsley? Ladies, gentlemen, and others, pray silence for our guest of honour. Pray silence for Mr. Parsley. I'm a very friendly lion called Parsley. I can't make a speech, but I would like to say it is very kind of everyone to ask me. Thank you very much for coming here today. Very nicely put, Parsley. I wish we could stay and help you open all those parcels, especially the ones in Constable Knapweed's sack. I have a feeling it'll take rather a long time, though, so we'd better go. I've never seen the herb garden so deserted. It will seem strange not having Parsley wave goodbye to us after all this time. Still, it is his birthday. Why, Parsley, you didn't forget after all. I say, I like your new pullover. Well, we, we won't keep you talking. I'm sure you'll want to get back and see what else you've got. Mind you don't singe your whiskers when you blow the candle out on the cake. Goodbye, Parsley. Happy birthday. See you again one day. Be good. That was brilliant. Very Fantastic. good. I love the songs. Yes. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mayo. I'm glad you like the songs. We've all got our own song, you know. Oh, we most certainly have. I am Sir Basil, the king of the herbs, and I'm very often in trouble. I'm not very good at sorting things out, and often I get in a muddle. Oh, Basil, really? Time for another episode, Dill. Parsley is a herb. So is an onion. Onions have a very strong smell, especially when they've just been peeled. Some people think the smell is good for you when you have a cold. Apart from helping to make things taste nicer, some herbs are still used as medicine. A chive is a herb too. It's really like a very small onion. Today's story is about a whole lot of chives belonging to Mr. and Mrs. Onion. They have a very large family. In fact, it's so large, Mr. Onion doesn't bother sending them all to school. He takes the lessons himself. If we hurry, we may be just in time to catch them before they start work for the day. I'll say the magic word. Herbidacious. There goes the school bell. That means we're in time. This is a part of the herb garden we haven't been in before. It's where the chives live. There's parsley. Sometimes Mr. Onion lets him ring the school bell. Hello, parsley. I shouldn't wave today if I were you. You need both paws for bell ringing. It isn't as easy as it looks. I'm a very friendly lion called 
parsley. I'm supposed to pull this rope and ring the bell. Though I try to pull it gently, never harshly, I'm afraid that I'm not doing very well. Here come the chives. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Because there are so many chives all looking like each other, it makes it even hard to tell a sister from a brother. Chives! Halt! Left! Turn! Stand at! Ease! Stand easy. That's Mr. Onion. He takes the lessons. He sounds a bit like a sergeant major in the army. Sums. That means adding and subtracting. <laughs> That's Mrs. Onion. She's always crying. Mind you, it must be difficult not to cry if you're an onion. Quiet in the ranks. Now, today's lesson is on sums. You all know what a sum is. Hands up, all those who know what a sum is. Hands up, all those who don't know what a sum is. Good. Chives, on your stomachs, down. By numbers, adding, begin. One chive. And two chives makes three chives. Good. Next sum, begin. Two chives and three chives makes five chives. Very good. Now, we come to subtraction. I hope you know what subtraction is. It's taking away. If I have five chives and I take away two, how many are there left? Correct. Next sum. If I have six chives, pay attention there. I'll say again. If I have six chives, now then, now then, what's going on? Come along there. Pay attention. It's most unusual for the chives to be taken ill like this. Even Parsley realizes something is wrong. I can't think why he's ringing the bell like that, though. Unless it's to let everyone know school is over for the day. Of course, Aunt Mint. I expect Parsley thinks she may be able to help. Pullovers. That's what they need. Pullovers. I had a feeling she might say that. I shall knit them one each, straight away. The poor little mites are probably frozen with cold. Aunt Mint loves knitting. She's really very kind, and if you give her half a chance, she's always ready to make you something. Besides, pullovers keep out the cold, and Aunt Mint is a great believer in keeping out the cold. Give her a ball of wool and some needles, and she's happy. Mind you, I don't think I'd like to knit a pullover for one child, let alone twelve. They're such a funny shape. My name is Auntie Mint. If you should see me sitting, don't think I'm doing nothing, for I'm busy with my knitting. I have a feeling she's nodding off to sleep. I hope she hasn't caught anything off the chives. I expect it's the thought of all those pullovers. Here comes Dill. He seems well enough. I'm Dill the dog. I'm a dog called Dill. Though my tail I'd love to get, I have never caught it yet. Dill? Careful now. You don't want to... No, oh, he does want to. I don't know what Aunt Mint will say when she wakes up. It's much too late to be sorry now, Dill. Much too late. Parsley, you wicked, wicked lion. Just look at my wool. All of it ruined. Now I shall never be able to knit the pullovers for the chives. Come back at once. Do you hear? Come back at once. Now, that was very unfortunate. It's bad enough being in trouble when you've done something wrong. But when you haven't, 
when you were nowhere near at the time. No wonder Parsley looks miserable. I don't know what to suggest. After all, wool doesn't grow on trees. Wool comes from sheep and... I wonder where he's off to now. Hmm. I think we'd better pretend we don't know what's going on. I'm not sure what the farmer would say if he knew. Mind you, it's all in a good cause, and I expect the sheep are quite pleased, really. <coughs> Careful now, Dill. We don't want another mess like the last one. That'll teach you, trying to get wool off a cow. Now what's he up to? Putting herbs in the wool? I'm sure they don't need decorating. Besides, it'll give them a funny smell. I don't suppose Aunt Mint will be very pleased if all her jerseys smell. I wonder how she's getting on. Perhaps we'd better go and see. Hmm, not very well by the look of things. She sounds a bit like Mrs. Onion at the moment. My name is Auntie Mint. I fear that I'm in trouble, for someone's messed up all my wool and got it in a muddle. Why, Parsley, wherever did you get all this wool? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that one for each chive? How very kind of you. It has rather a funny smell. It smells of musk. Isn't that good for coughs? And this one smells of chamomile. Doesn't that cure toothache? I can smell marigold, too. I quite agree, Dill. It's a very good idea. I shouldn't have known what Parsley was trying to do, not in a thousand years. It was clever of Aunt Mint to guess. I suppose you have to be a knitter to know that sort of thing. Or a lion. Mind you, there's no time to lose. My name is Auntie Mint. I'm always very busy. I often have so much to knit, it makes me feel quite dizzy. Still, when you knit like Aunt Mint, it doesn't take very long. And when you're a lion like Parsley, it takes even less time to get places. We have to go the long way round. That's right, the first pullover. That's the one that smells of musk. On chive number one. Now for pullover number two. On chive number two. I wonder if it will cure his cough. <coughs> I believe it has. Mrs. Onion looks as if she can hardly believe her eyes. And she's stopped crying. Even Mr. Onion can't think of a thing to say. What, 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 what? Huh? All he can do is splutter. Spluttering by numbers begin. One splutter, two splutter, three splutter, pause. Chives, on the feet, up. Good lads. Now, from where we left off, lessons begin. If I have six chives, and I take away Two. How many are left? Good. I think she's only crying because she's happy. She's always crying. And now we turn to medicine. We have with us today that well-known doctor, that curer of all ills, Dr. Parsley, who will now give you a short song. Dr. Parsley. He is important today. For today I'm known as Dr. Parsley Because the chives have aches and pains and chills If I treat them very gently, never harshly 
they will very soon be cured of all their ills. If you take advice from Dr. Parsley, you'll take chamomile for colds and toothache too. If you find your skin is itching rather harshly, then some marigold's the very thing for you. Oh dear, don't say you're sickening for something now, Parsley. I know what it is. It's all those onions. They are a bit strong. I think we'd better creep quietly away. There's Aunt Mint, still knitting. No, Dill, you've done quite enough damage for one day. I wonder who's going to shut the door. Ah, here comes Parsley. I hope you'll soon be better, Parsley. Good. Bye. I'm a very friendly lion called but sometimes I feel very, very So please don't shout or speak to me too For I'm sure you wouldn't want to see me Did you like that one? Yes, very much. Actually, um, Parsley, you know Simon's very good at singing some of the songs. I'm not. Especially Sages. I'm not. Go on, you can. I don't want to. Go on. Right. <coughs> I'm a very fat, very uncle Sage. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. I'm practicing singing to go on the stage. Brum, brum. Is brum, he? Brum. I told you, he's brilliant. Yes, well. <laughs> Perhaps when we've seen another episode, Sage would sing his song for us. Good. Right ho then, Dill. Parsley is a herb, a very important one too. You can use parsley in all kinds of ways. A bay leaf is useful, but I'm not so sure about knapweed. Lots of people like rosemary, and basil is popular too. Mind you, it wasn't a very popular word in the herb garden the other day. Not after Sir Basil decided to go on one of his fishing expeditions. Parsley was very upset, and as for sage, well, it had been raining, you see, and as soon as Sir Basil catches sight of anything like a puddle, out comes his fishing rod. If you like, I'll take you in the magic herb garden and show you what happened. Herbidacious. It's quiet at the moment, but just you wait. Ah, here comes you-know-who. Hello, Parsley. Hmm. The air's nice and fresh after it's been raining. It makes you want to sing. I'm a very friendly lion called Parsley. I am always very glad to see you, Abe. But please don't shout or speak to me too harshly, because I'm not particularly brave. Good gracious, what was that? I suppose we might have guessed. It's Sir Basil, out fishing. I don't know what he's hoping to catch in a puddle. I am Sir Basil, the king of the herbs. I love hunting and shooting and fishing. But when there is any hard work to be done, you'll notice I'm generally missing. Oh 
Oh, dear. Now he's got his line for it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. In Sage's nest as well. Now there's going to be trouble. Sage doesn't like being disturbed at the best of times. I'm a rather fat feathery owl called Sage. I'm not at all happy, in fact, in a rage. Someone or something is shaking my nest. It's so bad for my nerves when I don't get my rest. Ah. Mind you, I don't really blame him for feeling upset. Do you, Parsley? What's going on up there, blessed trees? Don't see how I'm expected to fish with trees all around. I don't like the sound of that. Here comes Lady Rosemary. I wonder what she'll have to say. My name is Lady Rosemary, though I may act haughtily. When you know me, you will find I really am quite nice and kind. Basil? What are you doing, Basil? Got it. By Jove, I've caught something at last. I should throw it back again if I were you. Throw it back? Don't know as I like the look of it much. Doesn't look like a fish to me. Looks more like some kind of twig. A twig? I say, don't keep poking me, Parsley. You've had your breakfast. I think he's trying to tell you something. Basil! Basil! Look! Eh? Hey? What? Bless me, so. Haven't noticed those before. Bay leaf must be collecting wood for the winter. I say, it's a jolly nice lot. Should burn well. Oh. Oh. Steady on, Parsley. Don't keep biting me like that. I've seen it now. I think he's trying to tell us something else. What is it, Parsley? I wonder if it's something to do with the weather. I thought I heard some rain just now. Basil! Good heaven! It's old Sage! I'm a rather fat feathery owl called Sage. I'm not at all happy, in fact, in a rage. It's bad when an owl's not allowed any rest. But it's worse when he's left in a tree with no nest. What's he been up to? Sage hasn't been up to anything, Basil. You've pulled his nest down. I've pulled it down? Upon my soul, I haven't been near the thing. It's that blessed fishing rod of yours. We shall have to get Bayleaf to put it back up there again. Bayleaf? Bayleaf! Where are you now? Basil, see if you can find Bayleaf anywhere. Bayleaf? Bayleaf! Where have you got to? Oh, dear. That's torn it. Here comes Constable Natwin now. Hello, hello. What's going on here? Is this anything to do with you, young fellow me lion? Well, whoever it belongs to is going to be in serious trouble. Leaving firewood all over the path like this where anyone might trip over it and have a nasty accident. Is this your firewood, owl? I don't think he likes that. I don't think he likes it at all. Having his home spoken of as firewood. It's a good job he hasn't got an egg. Otherwise, there might be another accident. Do it, do it, do it, do it. When spoken to, the owl in question hooted. Twice. Three times. Hmm. I'm afraid this won't be very good for you, Owl. One oot could have been a mistake. Two oots sounds a bit careless. But three oots? Oh, I shall want this mess cleared up by this evening, before it gets dark. Otherwise, the matter will have to be reported. I shall ignore that last oot and treat it as if it had never happened. But I shall be back. And when I get back, I want to see this path cleared of firewood. I am Constable Nepweed, and I keep law and order. I watch to see that all is well. 
along the garden border. I don't think Pasty likes the sound of things. Of course, Sage doesn't help matters. Not that we can blame him. I don't think it's as easy as it looks. You've got to know which twig goes where. It's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, only worse. At least you can put a jigsaw puzzle flat on the ground. Nests have to stand up by themselves. I say, that's very good. Very good indeed. Careful now. Here comes Dill. I'm Dill the dog. I'm a dog called Dill. I'm rather small and furry, and I'm often in a hurry. Watch out, Dill. Oh! 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 oh. That's done it. Still, if it won't stand up to Dill's barks, it certainly wouldn't stand up to Sage's hoots. They can be very loud sometimes. I think you'll just have to go away and think about it, Parsley. There must be some way. Perhaps... No, perhaps not. We might even... Mm, I don't know, then. It's very difficult. I wonder... No. That wouldn't work either. Hello. Something's going on. Perhaps Bayleaf's had an idea. Bah, ain't no use. Tis worse than trying to balance a pile of plates on top of a sixpence. Tis more difficult than... Yes, 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 Bayleaf, we all know it's difficult, but can you do it? No, ma'am, I can't. I don't see why Sage can't do it himself. After all, he is a bird. Birds build nests. Owls don't basil. They always make do with other birds' leftovers. It's probably something to do with their beaks. Or their laziness. Well, we can't leave him standing up there on a branch. He might walk in his sleep and have a nasty accident. As it's all your fault he's in this mess, Basil, I suggest you think of a way out. Well, it's all very well, Rosemary, but I say, what's Parsley doing? Parsley? Parsley? What are you up to? <coughs> Here, what you be doing, Parsley? You leave my broom alone. You can play with one of my old ones if you like, but that's my special one, that is. All them twigs is magical twigs. I say, what's he up to? Parsley? Put that down at once. And not in my eye, neither. You watch what you're doing, mucking about with my broom like that. I don't think you'll get that out in a hurry. It's not an ordinary twig, that. It's a magic one. Here, don't say you got another one. As for you, young Dill, I'm surprised at you. Just cause Parsley's up to his tricks, he don't mean to say as you asked to join him. You wait till Constable Natweed hears about all this. He'll be having his notebook out like a shot, he will. And I don't know which he'll be putting in first. It may be Parsley. On the other hand, it could be Dill. <coughs> One moment, Bailiff. Basil, I do believe Parsley's had an idea. Good boy, Parsley. Good dog, Dill. What do you mean? Good boy. I don't see anything good about tearing twigs off Bayleaf's magic broom. Look, Basil, see what they've done? They've made a frame. A frame? Well, I'll be... Ah, I see what you mean, Lady Rosemary. If we thread these old twigs through these magic ones, in and out like this, they'll all be held together. Exactly, Bayleaf. I think it's a capital idea. Parsley, I really think you should take a bow. Or even two bows. One for Dill as well. It won't take long to build Sage a new nest this way. Especially if everyone lends a paw. Or a beak. It isn't often you see an owl building a nest. Dill's gathered some moss to make it nice and comfortable. And now, Lady Rosemary's all ready to launch it. Hold on tight, Sage.
Oh, there's one thing everyone seems to have forgotten. You can't launch a nest if it's fixed to the ground. Relax, Sage. There's a slight hold-up. Of course. Bayleaf's magic broom. I don't know what they'd do without it sometimes. Or without parsley, for that matter. I hope there are enough twigs left on it. It gives me great pleasure to name this nest Sage's Nest. Blessing be upon all those who live in it. And there we are, safe and sound, back on the branch where it belongs. I'm a rather fat feathery owl called Sage. I'm now feeling happy and not in a rage. I must say that things have worked out for the best. And I'm grateful to have such a lovely new nest. Ah. Well, it's been a busy day in the herb garden, what with one thing and another. Oh, don't say it's coming on to rain. I'm a very nervous lion called Parsley. If Sir Basil starts to fish again today, you will see me disappearing rather smartly as I feel it's time that I was on my way. Very sensible, Parsley. Better safe than sorry. Goodbye. See you again soon. That was brilliant. That was fabulous. Can we see another one, do you think? Yes, we can. But after Sage has sung us his song, you did promise, young owl. She's right, young owl. You did promise. Oh, go on, Sage. You sing it so beautifully. Oh, please. I'm a rather fat feathery owl called Sage. I'm practicing singing to go on the stage. I sing all the scales and I know every word. And everyone knows I'm a voice like a bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've only got time for one more episode. We'd better hurry. Have you ever wondered how many different herbs there are in the world? Apart from parsley, I know of nearly 400. And I expect there are a good many I haven't heard of. There are quite a lot in the magic herb garden on the other side of the wall. There's basil and rosemary and knapweed, sage and dill. What's that? Curry? Well, that shouldn't really be there. Curry isn't a herb, it's a mixture of different herbs and spices. And it's very hot. It's so hot, it makes you want to roar if you eat too much. <coughs> I wonder what it's doing in the herb garden. I think we'd better go and see. Herbidacious. There's no one around. Perhaps they've all gone to the circus. There's the coach Parsley and Dill made for Miss Jessop and good King Henry. And here comes Parsley. Hello, Parsley. Arrgh. Good heavens, Parsley. I wonder what's come over him. He's not usually like that. To it, to woo. To it, to woo. I should think so, too. It's a wonder he didn't say more, being woken up from a nice sleep like that. I can't make out what's come over Parsley this morning. Here comes Dill. Let's see if he has better luck. I'm Dill the dog. I'm a dog called Dill. Though my teeth are sharp and white, I will never, never bite. <laughs> I should watch out, Dill. Parsley isn't in a very good mood this morning. <laughs> Poor old Dill. He was only trying to be friendly. 
That sounds like Sir Basil doing his daily rounds. I am Sir Basil, the king of the herbs. I love hunting and shooting and fishing. But when there is any hard work to be done, you'll notice I'm generally missing. Good gracious, parsley. What do you want to do that for? You should never make anyone jump when they're carrying a gun. Might kill someone. I say, is anything the matter? Why are you roaring like that? You got toothache or something? Poor old fella. Let me have a look. Back there. Back, back, I say. Good heavens. Another lion. Perhaps it's escaped from the circus. Unless... But if that's parsley, then the other lion must be... I say, keep still. I can't look at your teeth if you keep on moving. <coughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't put my head in that lion's mouth for all the tea in China. Basil, where are you? <coughs> that was a close thing. It's a good job Lady Rosemary called out when she did. Here she comes, feeding all the plants. I say, Rosemary, come and look at Parsley. He's been acting very strangely. Can't understand it. Parsley acting strangely? Perhaps he needs some medicine. Here, try some of this. <coughs> now, come along, Parsley. Don't play about. <coughs> Parsley, you've swallowed the spoon. There you are. Told you he was acting strangely. Now he's rattling. Serves you right, Parsley. You should learn to do as you're told. Back, back, I say. I say, what are you nudging me for? On my soul, it's Constable Knapweed with another blessed lion. Morning, Sir Basil. Morning, Lady Rosemary. Sorry to disturb you, but I've been trying to arrest this here lion. Escaped from the circus, he has. I was wondering if I could borrow that there coach of yours to take him back in. Napweed, are you sure you've got the right lion? Am I sure I've got the right one, ma'am? <laughs> oh, that's a laugh. <laughs> but it can't be too like. Oh. Here. Which one of you is which? Are you Parsley? <laughs> are you Parsley, then? Heaven. Do you mean to say you're not Parsley? <coughs> I've been sticking my head right in his mouth. I wouldn't have given him that medicine if I'd known. Oh, you soon fix him, ma'am. Just you watch. Back there. Back, I say. Back. Back there. Back. That's better. Now, you're going back to that there circus where you belong, me lad. And just as soon as I get me notebook, I'll be taking down a few details as to your name and number, and how you came to escape in the first place. Good work, Nepweed. I'll get Parsley to give you a hand pulling the coach. Parsley! That's all right, Sir Basil. I'll manage. <coughs> Here, you watch what you're saying, my lad. Answering back to a police officer is a serious offence. Especially when you haven't been spoken to in the first place. Come, my dear. I think it's time for our elevenses. All this lion taming makes you thirsty. Here comes Parsley again. Now we can say hello properly. I'm a very friendly lion called Parsley. I am always very glad to see you, Ave. But please don't shout or speak to me too harshly. Because I'm not particularly brave. Fancy mistaking you for an escaped circus lion. Especially a fierce one like he was. It's not as if you've got a fierce roar. I could understand it then. Arr. Arr. There you are. Arr. Arr. <laughs> Arr! 
I'm a very fearsome lion called Parsley. You can tell because I lash my tail and roar. I stamp my feet and even shout quite harshly. You have never seen me do these things before. That was really rather naughty, Parsley. Frightening poor Dill like that. He probably thought you were that other lion escaped again. I'm a rather fat feathery owl, coarse age. I'm not at all happy, in fact, in a rage. These lions keep giving my tree such a shake that it makes my nest wobble and keeps me awake. Parsley, what are you doing? Stop that at once, do you hear? I say, I suppose it is Parsley. It doesn't sound like him. Of course it's Parsley. It must be Parsley. Here comes Constable Napweed with the coach. Napweed, you have taken that lion back, haven't you? Ah, <sighs> oh, oh, that I have, ma'am. He won't be causing no more harm. <laughs> he... Hello? Watch this. Don't say we've got another one. The place is fair swarming with lions today. Don't know where they're all coming from. That is not another lion. It's Parsley. Parsley? Well, I'll be blowed. Here. He's got his teeth stuck in the tree good and proper. Then it serves him right, playing tricks on other people. Mind you, it might be another lion. It's most unlike Parsley to behave like this. Eh? What? Thought you said it was Parsley. Make up your mind, Rosemary. Shh. I'm teaching Parsley a lesson. Teaching him a... Oh, oh, I see. Um, Nepweed? Yes, my lady. Nepweed, I've changed my mind. I think perhaps this is an escaped lion after all. Make sure he's put in a cage. Ah, oh, yes, my lady. Uh, uh, at once, my lady. Can't have escaped lions upsetting all the neighbourhood. Come on, put that tree down. Try saying, ah, ah, ah. Ah, that's better. Now... In the cage with you. Gnawing trees is a serious offence. It'll all have to be gone into at the proper time. That and roaring during the hours of daylight. Good work, Nepweed. Ah, a right fierce one he is. Shan't be sorry to see the back of him. I should take him straight back to the circus. They can put him in with all the other fierce lions. We shan't see him again. Ah, he'll be miles away by tomorrow. I do hear tell they're moving off after supper tonight. If they get any supper. Arr, arr, arr. It's no good roaring, young fellow, me lion. You'll only make matters worse for yourself. You've made your bed, now you'll have to lie on it. Oh, you haven't got a bed. Well, never mind. Perhaps you will one day. Off we go. I'm a very worried lion called Parsley. I pretended to be fierce and in a rage. Now I'm sorry I was rude and spoke so harshly. I feel so unhappy locked up in this cage. Think we taught him a lesson, Dazzle? I shouldn't be surprised. It... Napweed! Yes, my lady. Napweed, I've changed my mind again. Again, my lady? Yes, Napweed. I think it may be Parsley after all. You'd better set him free. Certainly, my lady. I hope that'll teach you not to play tricks in future, young Parsley. Now you know what it's like to be a real lion. All shut up in a cage. That might have been you. Fancy pretending to be a fierce lion. Frightening us all like that. Of course, I knew all the time. Oh, I, you could tell he weren't a real fierce lion. Ah, you could tell, couldn't you, Dill? He 
even old sage is laughing. <laughs> See him off, Dill. See him off. He's not really fierce. <laughs> I say, steady on. I say, you don't think... I don't like the look of that. Mind, Basil. He has a nasty look in his eye. Arr, 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 arr. I say, I wonder if Lady Rosemary was right the first time. It doesn't sound like Parsley. It doesn't even look like him. Or does it? Parsley, you're a rogue. I think we'd better go before you frighten anyone else. Goodbye, Parsley. See you again soon. Arr, arr. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayo, but we really must be getting back now. Everybody will be coming in from lunch. No, no, that's OK. Thank you anyway. We've had a great time, haven't we, sir? And thanks for letting us see some of your old episodes. Less of the old, young lady. I didn't mean old. I meant... Oh, oh. oh you know. Don't worry, Miss Sybil. We know what you mean. Now, come on, you herbs. Back to your positions. We don't want you to be found all over the floor, do we? But I wanted to sing my song for the pretty lady. Another time, young dragon, another time. We'll come again, yes, I promise, but, but, and then we'll but, sing your song, won't we, Simon? Bill. Yes, we will, of course oh. we will. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr Mayo, would you mind? Sorry? It really will take us an awfully long time to get down from here on our own. <laughs> Oh, yes, of course we will. Yes, sorry, we didn't think about that. <laughs> we'll do that for you. It's been Aww. great. Thanks ever so much. Thanks, Dill. Thanks, Parsley. You'd like to take him home, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, I Don't would. Don't get emotional. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's brilliant. <laughs>